And then in uh, 1973, the faculty went on strike. Oh, yeah. Why, why, why did that happen? His name was Richard Falk. He, he issued an order that there were to be no, nothing covering the windows of faculty offices. <laughs> and this is another one you have to ask John about. And John said, I am in charge of the faculty buildings, not the dean of students. What are you doing? You know, I was, and I, and, uh, and I, I told him that uh, that was an immediate order for everybody to cover their window. Uh, I mean, they weren't going to take any crap off uh, um, uh, Dick Falk. And he, and he kept, kept this up. He, he had a vendetta against the faculty, uh, and uh, it got worse and worse. Uh, it, and we were in the De Richard Nixon era, Tricky Dick, and oh, oh God, all this flowed back and forth. And, uh, and, and uh, uh, when I was president, I tried to defuse that, and, and Falk uh, went and complained uh, to uh, Tom Ford, and Tom came over to my home pounding on the table and you got to take it better, easier, you got to uh, solve this problem with me on, on Dick Falk. And I said, I've tried. And I said, uh, I cannot do it. I said, he just keeps meddling in the academic uh, area. And I said, I'm just as opposed to him as the faculty is. I said, I don't understand. And, and this time, John got fired. And, and so it was all falling apart. And, and uh, Folk was uh, like manipulating, according to Larry Folk, uh, the board to get J Tom's job. All of this is t transpiring, and so I, I said he's got to go. So and how it, did the students fare during the the strike? How long did it go on? Eight days. Uh, the strike went on eight days. And, and uh, the, as far, long as it could go on and still get credit for the quarter. That was the, the magic number. Everybody knew it. Um, the, the, uh, uh, when Tom became entrenched, uh, and, uh, and I, didn't, I, I didn't go out with the faculty. I was, at that time, a division chairman. I, and I really had mixed feelings about that. And um, if I had to do over again, I've gone out. Because I, I knew that uh, the, the cause, uh, the administrative cause was wrong. Knew it within me that they were destroying the, the, the relationship of student, faculty, administration, God, uh, over personalities. Did the students support the faculty? Yes. How about the community? Yes, the faculty. You can't strike in this town uh, without the unions coming at with you. This, this is still a very, very strong union town. And the college uh, got caught in that vice. Uh, one thing I left out in the uh, student, or in the um, black, um, the riots. We went down 2,000 FTE that quarter. That's a lot. That was enough to cause uh, nine people to get RIF notices. That really shook everybody up. Okay. And so um, these two um, kind of dramatic events, how did that change the um, the social and just kind of the atmosphere oh, on campus. Oh, it destroyed the Cloverleaf part and the quarter parties with faculty, staff, and students. That was a shame. That that it never, never was uh, healed. Never. It still hasn't healed. But um, how long did it take the the trust to kind of be rebuilt after, never was after rebuilt. the faculty strike? Never was rebuilt. It was gone. Uh, we grew too big. Uh, 30, 11, 
30 faculty, 11 staff, 900 students, it was easy. It was easy as pie. We could help all those students. We had a wonderful relationship both in and out of school. There were lots of parties. Everybody was happy. We, we, uh, it was a golden age, uh, a good feeling age, and then with the riots and the strike, it, it took the heart out of the college. Okay. Um, I, so I, I might say that the nurses tried to put it back together and did the best job. 